Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Annie. You guys already know. So today I'm bringing you guys this very simple, I'll call it simple, but it's, it's a cut crease. It's a cut crease look and it's a gold cut crease look. Um, if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. Do not forget to leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it after watching it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So for this look, we're starting off with the eyes and I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer to, you know, give my eyes something for my eyeshadow to stick to. So I'm basically just applying that and then I'm setting it with a translucent powder. Next, I'm going in with Madagascar and that's from the New, New Bantu Juvia's Place palette. And I'm just going to use that as my transition color. Then I'm going in with the shade Jezebel and I'm just going to be applying this in the outer area of my transition area as well. You know I have hooded lips so I'm going to basically be placing this product um, around the outer area of my brow bone. So I'm going back in with the same color and I'm basically intensifying that I'm making sure that it's more visible. Now I'm going to be creating my the area where my crease is going to be and I'm using a concealer. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm basically just applying that and creating my cut crease as I go. And then I'm going to set this area with a translucent powder. I'm basically placing amber light on this area where I just set and that's basically going to form my cut crease now i'm going in with a liquid liner and i'm just creating a very nice wink. Now I've applied my lashes off camera and then I'm going to prime my face. We're moving on to the face right now. So I'm priming my face with the Smashbox Foundation Primer. You guys, I absolutely love this primer. This primer is quite mattifying. I'm sure like you guys can see that I'm applying quite a lot because I'm very, very oily. Um, I tend to go oily over a period of time. As you all know, my favorite foundation, NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation. I'm just going to apply this all over my face using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Then I'm going to highlight my face and I'm using the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Cool Tan. I basically just apply that in the areas I would normally highlight and I'm just going to blend that in using my Beauty Blender. To contour my face, I'm using this shade from the MAC Cosmetics um, Conceal and Correct Palette. And I'm basically just going to apply this in the area that I would normally contour. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, as you can see. And I'm basically creating my, you know, my pointed nose. <laughs> um, and I'm using the Evita Joseph um, Flat Brush to do this, um, this step. And I'm blending that I'm blending my nose area in with the same brush that I use. It's a real techniques brush. Um, it's like a contour brush. That's the brush that I use to contour. And I'm just going to blend that in. 
I felt like I closed in on that um, nose contour. So I'm going back in with a little bit of that um, concealer to create that nose contour and make sure that it's still visible. Now I'm going to set my face using the Laura Mercier setting powder. That's what I'm doing right now. And after this step, I'm going to set my contoured area with a dark brown powder. I usually I do this step. I like it. So Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner and I'm going to line my waterline, bringing it a little bit down to my lash area. So I'm not taking it down, I'm not smudging it all the way down. I'm just going to place it on my lash line. Now I'm taking like a small brush and I'm going to smudge a dark brown shade, dark brown um, eyeshadow on that area that I applied my liner as well. Now I'm going to set my whole face with my MAC Studio Finish Powder. Yes, that's what I'm doing and I'm using the Evita Joseph powder brush to do this step. So I'm going to apply blush and the blush that I normally use is the MAC Cosmetics blush in the shade Raisin and then I'm using the Makeup Forever blush brush to do this step and then I'm going to give my face a little bit of glow um, using ABH Cosmetics glow kit with the Evita Joseph fan brush. Now I am lining my lips with MAC lip pencil in the shade Burgundy and then I'm going to go over that with a nude lipstick from MAC as well and this nude lipstick is called Velvet Teddy, it's like very popular, a lot of people use it. So I'm going to go over that my lips with Yanga Beauty's um, lip gloss in clear and then i'm going to apply my mascara you don't want to forget that step Now I'm going back into my Juvia's Place New Band Palette and I'm going to open up my eye using that, I don't know, I think that shade is Jade, I don't know, I'm not sure what the name of that shade is, but I'm going to apply that in my tear dot area. I hope you guys learned something from it. If you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to answer to all your questions and do not forget to subscribe to my channel guys subscribe watch other videos of mine leave a comment and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye